All right, all right. Good evening and good night, and welcome to the Itio Perspective Talk Show. It is uh, Friday, uh, November 20th, 2014. My name is David, a.k.a. Kimba, a.k.a. Christian. Uh, no co-host in the studio tonight. Just want to say that this is the Itio Perspective Talk Show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. until... I reach my cheat sheet here. Uh, 8 p.m. until uh, tonight we're doing a special show on Friday. Uh, we do have some, some special guests in the studio tonight. Uh, we do have a telephone number as well, 340-201-9005. You can also text us on that number as well. But most importantly, you have to go to our website, streaminglivefromthevi.com. We also have, we also have email, streaminglivefromthevi at yahoo.com. Uh, so I guess tonight we are in the high-tech, low-tech studio, coming to you from an undisclosed location here in St. Croix, Virgin Islands. No radio, no TV, internet only. Uh, Got to pick up your uh, smartphone, your Apple, your Android, your uh, iPad, your tablet, your Mac, or your Windows PC. Open up your browser and uh, go to streaming live from the vi.com, and you'll be able to see this show tonight because we do have some very, very special guests in the studio tonight. Uh, all our shows are on YouTube and Ustream.tv, just uh, search for our channel, it's your perspective talk show. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, CHS Class of 1982, that's the year I'm representing. Uh, also Vanessa, Julie, Sharice King, uh, Rashima Kwai, Storm Smith, uh, Audrey Brown, and many others. Uh, and to all our guests, most importantly, uh, thanks for being on our show uh, and believing in what we're doing here. We're also on, uh, we're also on Twitter. Um, as well, hit us up there at VR Perspective. Uh, we're moving straight forward and up. The show's mission is just to inform, entertain, and empower everyone. And as I did say tonight, we do have some special guests in the studio tonight. Uh, there they are right there, Jason Gardner and Sandra Bass. Uh, welcome to the studio again, Jason, and uh, welcome uh, to Sandra. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, man. Uh, so how are you guys doing? We are great. Okay. Happy to be here. Thank you so much. Okay. You're quite welcome. Uh, so, uh, some big things are happening here uh, tomorrow, uh, starting tomorrow, uh, and you want to tell us all about it. I had the flyer showing there, there's the flyer right there. Uh, so Jason, uh, just, just kind of tell us what's happening tomorrow. Yes, we are at our third year for the Virgin Islands Model of the Year competition, 2016, and tomorrow our audition starts. We have auditions tomorrow at JG Management between the hours of 11 and 4 p.m. at our studio, which is in the Mount Pleasant Mall, and that's located above uh, Jane's Bridal and Gifts. And then on Sunday in St. Thomas at the Windward Passage Hotel between the hours of 12 and 4 p.m. And um, we're just so excited. We're, we have uh, six divisions. We have um, child, female and male, between the ages of 8 and 11 years old. Okay. And uh, junior female, 12 to 15, junior male, 12 to 16. And then our fashion division for the females, 16 to 22, 5, 8 and taller. Okay. Between a size 0 to a sample 6. Okay. And our male, 17 to 25, 6 feet and taller. Okay, perfect, yes. perfect. Uh, so you have a busy weekend here. We sure do. Okay. We are so excited to, you know, to see these amazing uh, beauties and handsome gents come out to, uh, to our audition. We're very excited. Okay. Um, so this is the third. This is the third one. Yes. So it's our third uh, annual. So to take take us back to the first one. Uh, were you were you involved in it uh, back then? The, the first, uh, I guess, model of the year, uh, the, the competition coming up, I guess, in April, correct? Yes. So mm -hmm. uh, this is the third, the third annual. Yes, this okay. is the third annual. Okay, yes. so were you involved in it uh, from the first one? From oh the yes, it's, it's, it's our it's, it's our own. Yes. Okay, okay, <laughs> I, okay, okay. That's what I'm getting at. Yes, Just definitely. Okay. I wasn't definitely, sure. Yes. Um, maybe yes. maybe you took it over. Oh no. Okay, yes. so this is your baby. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We. Okay. Are the originators. Originators, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Um, so I would imagine that this whole thing has grown? Most definitely. Okay. We, I think uh, what makes uh, the Virgin Islands Model of the Year competition truly a competition like no other is the fact that we really focus on the, the development and the training of our contestants. 
Okay. All the training is done in house. We have um, agencies that come down from the states that offer our winners uh, modeling contracts. Okay. And um, I think our prizes are great, and what they learn, whether they are the title holder or they place or not, they can take this information with them for the rest of their lives. So. Okay. Okay, so, and, yeah. and, 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 and uh, uh, Ms. Bass, you, this is where you kind of come into this, right? Uh, yes, 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 absolutely. Um, Jason and I are working very well together on this. I'm really, really excited. It is a passion of ours because, first of all, we, what we really want to do is take these island beauties worldwide. Okay. Um, uh, we have the opportunities um, and the resources okay. to do this. And um, I've known Jason for a long time. Um, we met in New York City many, many years ago, and we've come together to produce this amazing event to lift up these gorgeous island men and women, okay. children and young adults and teens, to let, them, let the world know how beautiful these um, uh, gorgeous creatures are here. Uh, and also, not only that, but to manage them, because I've been in the industry a long time. I was a model for many, many years for Givenchy, Valentino. I worked for all the top designers. I lived in Paris, Rome, and Tokyo for many years working as a model, and now I'm on the other side of it, and I understand the whole spectrum of what it takes to make it in this industry, um, and that's what I bring to the table, uh, as well as um, huge resources worldwide with modeling agents and uh, photographers and designers and stylists. This is my passion. This is what I have lived for years. Okay. And I'm just happy to be able to um, be the platform okay. for um, uh, the island. And, and not just this island, but of course St. Thomas, St. John. Uh, we just want to show the world how beautiful these um, young ladies and men are. Men are, okay. Um, so, uh, uh, I guess there was a winner uh, from the first one. Uh, yes. Kind of just take us, take us current, bring us current from then, uh, real okay. quick. Okay. The first year, our child winner was uh, Egypt Jackson. And Egypt uh, recently worked in New York this past summer and um, booked her first job. And she will be featured on the Toys R Us uh, box. Oh really? There's okay. a new uh, jewelry line that's coming out, okay. and she will be featured on the box. Oh really? Okay, that's yeah. good. That's a good thing, there, right? Very exciting. And our yeah, and our junior winner was Brianna Almestica. Okay. And she will be going back to New York uh, this uh, 2016. Okay. And our female winner was Drea Edwin. Okay. So, and, so um, Toys R Us is still around as a toy story. Eh? Okay. Oh, definitely. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> definitely. The first year was just females. It was the first year we wanted to get it off the ground, and then um, for our second year, we we added males. So our child junior division, they're all in school right now. Our child winners were. Javier Edwards and the Jalen Newton. Okay. And for our junior division was the Quan Daniel and Brene Soju. Okay. And they're all in school right now, so 2016 summer they will be going to New York to start working. Okay. So when you say in school, you mean like high school or they're in college? Elementary and oh, okay. so junior uh, high okay. and high school. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So they're and on their way up. Okay. Definitely yes. Okay. And then you. our female and male winner, our female winner Shakira Inglis. And our male, uh, Jamal Cruikshank, had both uh, relocated to New York to start working. Okay, okay. And then, and then the third annual is coming up. Yes. So the auditions are this weekend, and then the actual show, I think, is in April? April, Okay. Yes. Um, and that's going to be where? Uh, is that all? Is that... Uh... Yes. The, it's actually a, a three-day event. Okay. The Friday night, which will be April 8th, Okay. Will be our red party. Is uh, you wear your best uh, red fashions. Oh, really? And okay. it will be at the uh, Caribbean Museum Center for the Arts in Frederickstead. Okay, okay. And that night is just for them to, you know, have fun. 
Uh, do we do a light introduction, uh, a mini runway show? Okay. And just for the models to have fun, dance before the intense weekend start. Is that is that open to the public or is that just just a sort of a private thing? It's um, private. Okay. Um, but they have um, we do have ticket sale for okay. that as well. Okay. 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 Yeah. Good. 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 And then on the Saturday. Okay. It's um, it's private because that's the first uh, judging competition, which is the one-on-one. -on -one, okay. Where they get to sit down with the agents that are coming down to offer the winner the contract. So each each contestants get to meet with them. Okay. And one-on-one, -on -one, they ask them questions about themselves, and the child and junior division also perform a uh, a one-minute talent for them. Okay. And then the Sunday is the main competition. Okay. And that is going to be at uh, Central High Gymnasium. Okay. And so, as as uh, Jason was just talking to Sandy, you that's where they when they one on one with you. That, is that how this is? Uh... Well, actually, what we what we have done is we invite agents from New York City. Okay. Um, and they offer a development contract to the winner. And um, this particular agent this year is Wilhelmina Models, okay. which is a huge, very reputable agency uh, worldwide. They have offices in Miami, oh, really? New okay. York, Los Angeles, and London. Okay, wow. And um, the agents are coming, and of course, they are very excited to see these beauties. And the beauty of it is that what Jason and I are doing is Jason develops these kids before okay. they are put in front of these agencies and and I think this is important um, in the past the agents have just raved at the talent okay. that, of, of these beautiful um, girls and guys here okay. because this is what Jason does he's so good at it and and it's not only just about the, the beauty of them it's it's the mentality because the industry is uh, is completely wide open today and a lot of people wonder, well, my goodness, how did she get to be a top model, or how did he get to be a top model? It isn't always about the beautiful face. So this is what we do. We develop, we train, and we make sure that they have the tools okay. that they need to be able to go out into the world, and a lot of times say no. You have to be able to say no to certain things. Okay. Um, and they have to take responsibility on themselves to be able to handle different situations and with our guidance because we've been in the industry a while and because we know um, exactly where they should be placed and when they should be placed um, this is an advantage uh, that I didn't have when I was modeling okay uh, unfortunately but um, it's so needed today because the world is so open with the internet okay. uh, there's so many other directions you can go in that may not be the right direction. Okay. So we are here to steer these girls and guys in the right direction in okay. this big amazing world of ours. So so I guess there's some level of um, level of uh, look and attitude and presence and then you see that and you build from that. Oh yes, absolutely, okay. absolutely. And confidence. Okay. I mean that is the key word. You really have to um, it, you know, at the end of the day, it's selling, just like Egypt. Uh, you know, this was the first time our little um, Toys R Us girl, uh, adorable. This is the first time she was in New York City. She's up against other kids her age that have auditioned many, many more times than she had. Oh, really? Okay. But she had what it took to convince the advertisers of Toys R Us that she was the one. She had to have... What does she have, uh, Jason? Several um, auditions before they chose her. Okay. So it's really, really a process. And in New York City, the competition is fierce. It's fierce. I would so I could imagine. That's why we're so proud of her, and we're going to have more success stories like that. Um, this is this is just the beginning. Okay. Have, have you had a chance to meet with any any of the, uh, um, the candidates running? Uh, candidates? Um. Um, no, not yet. Not okay. Yet. Not okay. Yet. Well, we did have a class today, okay. uh, but tomorrow is really the audition day, so okay. I'm really looking at And I want to say this also, uh, you know, guys, come out. You know, we, the men's modeling industry is huge. Um, there's lots and lots of opportunities for you. Um, don't be shy. Uh, just be handsome and come out and, and let us take a look at you and steer you in the right direction. 
for a very successful modeling career. Okay, real quick, Jason. Um, so I think when you were here last time, you was you were saying that uh, the males uh, that that particular area there is sort of picking up a little bit. I guess you sort of gauge a little bit. Is that is that still true, or is it kind of? I think slowly but surely they're coming out uh, more especially uh, for our new season that recently started in September. We have uh, more guys than we ever had before. Okay. So I'm, I'm so excited for what's to come because I think once they see the guys that we have now go on and do great things, then I think slowly but surely you will see them coming. And I think uh, Jamal uh, Cruikshank, who was our 2015 winner, I think with the success of him and what is happening with him right now in okay. New York, you definitely will see a lot more guys, especially from the from St. Croix coming out when it comes comes to modeling. Yeah, so he, he kind of went through the process here. He was he was yes. recognized by somebody here, a talent scout, and then he just. Mm -hmm. He's moved well, on to the he next. Was he was in a competition. Oh, really? Okay. In a competition last year. Okay, yeah. okay. And, and also, I mean, we aren't talking about a small local market. We're talking about New York City. Yes. Yeah. And like I said before, the competition is huge. There. I understand. I mean, everyone wants to come there to be a model. Anyone that that wants to model, New York is the mecca. And there's so many choices. There's so many choices of um, of, of models for the agents. So they can really pick and choose, and the cream rises to the top. And that's where the development comes in. That's where they have to be ready. That's where they have to be professional. They have to show up. They have to be on time. And it, it really shows in our kids here because of the way that Jason trains them. OK. So I guess, I guess there's, there's rejection and there's excitement. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> there are more no's than yes's. OK, OK, OK. Um, but the yeses are great when they come. Okay. They really are. And okay. then they keep coming. Okay. So talk a little bit about the no's. You know, someone that may think they're, they're you know, they're, they got it all together. They come in and, and then they're, they're being told no. Uh, how do you guys sort of approach that? I mean, that could be hard on some people, I would imagine. Well, it's very hard. And that's why development is very, very important. And that's okay. why we call it a thick skin. You have to know that when they say no to you, it isn't about oh no, you aren't beautiful, or no, it's no, you are not for this job. Because what happens is, because I am also working as a scouting director at a modeling agency in New York City, so I see it firsthand every day. A client will pick up the phone and call and say, uh, we're, or, or mostly email, uh, we're looking for this height, we're looking for this type, we're looking for hair color, this, we're looking for age, and they are specific. So this is what we have to give them. Now, they called all of the agencies in New York City. So all of these models go to the same casting for the same job. Okay. Now, and literally the long lines? I absolutely, the okay. long lines are long. But also, keep in mind, and this is what I was talking about, about the nose, it's our job as agents not to send talent or models that they aren't the type that they aren't looking for. Okay. So we have to stay in that criteria. So as they look at it, they see tons of models that are the same type. So they have to choose. So uh, yes, most of them, they're going to say no. Okay. Because lo most of the time they're going to use one model, or sometimes they may use two. Okay. But they've looked at 200. Okay. So that's where the no's come in. And that's why it's so important not to take it personal. Okay. That job just was not for you. Okay. And, then, and by that means, they can, they can come back to a, go to another, another screening, I guess, the next day at another place. At, with the same people. Okay. But a different client for these people. Okay, I And understand. they'll say, oh, my goodness, you're perfect. And then that could be her opportunity. Absolutely. I understand. Absolutely. So you just keep going. You okay. Just keep going. Okay. 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 All right. So you, you guys okay? You guys yes. doing okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to take a quick break. I'm getting a little thirsty here. Uh, we'll be right back. Stand by. Okay. Thank you.
All right, all right. Uh, thank you to our audience there. Uh, our guests can't hear that, but uh, they don't have their headphones on, but I have this sort of applause, and so I call it sort of the fake applause. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is the It's Your Perspective talk show. It's a little, uh, little humor, inside humor there. I thought it was funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh, you hear that giggling there? And that's because we do have some guests in the studio tonight. Uh, Jason Gardner and Sandra Bastet. Y'all wave to the crowd one more time. You guys are streaming out live. Uh, so as we continue on here, one of the things that I, uh, I wanted to ask about was the training. Um, um, so you, 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 you look at somebody and they have some of what you're looking for in all categories and now the training comes into play. So what do you, what do, what do you, what do, you do uh, as far as the training goes? What is, I, know, I know, do you, do you teach them to, uh, to sort of walk, walk a little better in, in five inch heels? And then, you know, how to, how to interact with people? I mean, yeah. the, the whole kind of gamut of uh, things I would imagine, right? Yes, well after the audition process, we notify them and let them know their placement in the competition and then we have an orientation where we go over the complete package, all the different competitions, and then the workshop starts in January. Okay. They have uh, nine uh, workshops that they complete before the competition. We do, I hope I can remember all nine, I think it's um, <laughs> Runway, in the runway workshop, um, skin care, okay. hair, hair care, uh, makeup, health and nutrition, photo posing, uh, the business of modeling, speaking for success, and auditions. I think the other one. That, that, was, that was close to nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's it's um it's intense, but uh, it's it's such a, a great uh, learning environment because, okay. like I said, you know they they take so much from this, okay. and it's something that you know we boast about because it's so well needed. Okay. My main thing is that when we bring these agents down, I know these agencies that are coming from New York, you mm -hmm. know, what they look for, the level, you know, the quality of the models. So okay. I make sure that they are, you know, well-trained. They're ready. Yes. Okay. Well-trained, ready. Uh, all, like I said, everything is done pretty much in-house in terms of the training preparation. Okay. We send them pictures in terms of the different looks to uh, look for for the, uh, for the competition. Okay. And um, there's seven competitions that they compete in in April. They do the one-on-one, -on -one, the Saturday, which is the day before the competition on, on Sunday. Okay. They do the jeans competition, swimwear, TV beauty commercial, fashion print, runway competition, and the high fashion competition. Okay. So... And like Sandy said earlier, it, it really feels great to hear that the agents, you know, would speak so highly of what we're doing. Okay, okay. Because that's... they go to a lot of these um, model competition and also like yes. uh, larger um, conventions. Okay. And they told us straight up, you know, it's like they did not really know what to expect coming to a small island to see what they would find. And okay. And I made sure that these girls and guys was ready you okay. know, with their fashions, you know, make sure that the walk is so important for me. You must know how to walk okay. if you're going to be in our show. Okay. And, and Jason um, knows how to walk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, well, I think it's so. not really, well, I think with the beauty and the walk, that's what you go to fashion shows for in a sense. I mean, I guess it's the walk and the fashion, but, you know, there's a, I guess there's a strut. Yes. A uh, fashion strut. I don't know if that's the right term to yeah. use, but uh, as models, you know. Exactly. You got to bring the clothes to life. That's a big part. You know? That's a yeah. huge part of it. Um, runway, and everybody wants to do runway. Everybody wants to be on the runway, and I understand that because I was a runway model for many, many years, and the runway is great. Um, a lot of times, the girls don't have the height for runway okay. because they make the clothes. The designers make the sample sizes for a, a particular one size, which is usually a two, two, four or actually zero, two, four. And um, if you're five, two, 
or 5'5 even, the clothes are not going to fit properly. So a lot of girls, so they, oh, I want to be a runway model, I want to be a runway Now, it doesn't mean that you cannot be in the industry. Um, and I never say never. I never say to anyone, oh, no, you're 5'2 or you're 5'3, you aren't going to be a runway model. Because you never know. I mean, we had Kate Moss, who was 5'7. And, and she had an unbelievable career for, what, a span of 30-something years. But there's only been one, and she's 5'7". So there are other areas that you can go into also. You can go into fashion design. You can go into stylist. You can go into makeup. You can go into hair. Um, you can go into production. You can go into be a casting director. There are so, you can be a scout. You can be an agent. So there are so many other avenues that you can go into in the industry. Okay. okay. And, and this is something I always tell um, um, my girls because, and guys because I give seminars around the, the U.S. And um, I, I never try to um, make anyone feel like they, that they cannot belong because they actually can. Okay. There's, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a position there somewhere. Somewhere it is. Okay. Absolutely. And I want to say another thing also, especially for our um, Virgin Island beauties down here. The parents are so important. We have amazing parents that we could not do it without them. Okay. They make sure, of course, they feed the kids, they get them there on time, they clothe them, they just make sure the hair, the makeup, whatever they need. And it's a job. It is a job, especially for the little ones, because they're in school, they have homework, yes. they have to eat. So it, it's a commitment. Okay. That's what it is. And I, I just want to give a, um, a shout out and a thank you to the parents that um, we are involved with. They've been, at, and, and when they go to New York, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. <laughs> On the subway. So thank you, parents. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, one of the other things that you mentioned, uh, I'm not sure who mentioned it, but you talked about the, uh, I guess it was the, those nine things, the business of the industry. Um, and so talk a little bit about, you know, the glitz and glamour from a, from a business perspective of, of uh, you know, this industry. Well, I, I think it is a business. You're absolutely right. And the model is the product. So the product has to be marketed. Okay. So you need tools. Um, what are your tools? The model needs photos. She needs to, or he needs to uh, take care of themselves. They need to be physically, their skin needs to be clear, like Jason said, the mm -hmm. 10 things, that's part of it. You need to eat correctly. You need to get plenty of sleep. Uh, you can't be a party person and get up at 5 o'clock in the morning for a 6 o'clock shoot. You have to be ready and on time. You have to answer your phone. You have to be available okay. it is a business okay. and that's why the team is so important we are a team okay and what we do is we manage we make sure there was the right agent and when they start making money which is the fun part too then okay you need an advisor of what how to put this money where to put it what to do with it because it can go in an instant Okay. So it is a business, and you need your advisory team, okay. a strong one, especially when you start to really make, like, triple digits oh, because really? the eyes get big, and all of a sudden it's gone. You don't know what to do. So, so we help with that also. So give me an example of what uh, someone could make. You know, if you, let's say you've got five years, five years in the industry, you've done X amount of shows. It doesn't even take five. I mean, it depends on timing. Okay. Um, you can make any and, – and it's a lot – it's a blessing and it's luck also okay. um, and it's being prepared um, so that's a tough question to answer um, for the top scale I mean my goodness you could get a campaign a cosmetic campaign with L'Oreal or or um, uh, one of the other cosmetic Clarins or Clinique or Revlon you could get an, a campaign and that campaign could pay could pay up to a hundred thousand dollars okay for okay. one campaign okay then on another scale you could get jobs for ten thousand then on another scale you can get jobs for two thousand okay one thousand five hundred dollars i mean it all depends on the client but oh. the, it, the the money stream is amazing okay when it works when it works it works okay. it's college tuition hands down paid okay and, and, and jason i wanted to ask you um like so, you, you, you're gonna you're, you're gonna have this the training this this nine week or nine day training, and then I guess 
um, then you look at your, your your pool of people, then I guess you, uh, I guess in a sense, see who's sort of stepped up uh, and, and, and embraced what you were doing and, and applying it to their life and to what you're teaching them. Uh, is that, I guess, does, does the pool get shorter or smaller at that point as well? Well, no, because once you're in the competition, everyone competes in April. Okay. Yeah, so it's not like, oh, we... Oh, okay, so... Yeah. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay, no, I understand. Once you, once you um, audition and you're in, you're okay. re you register, you're in until, okay. until April. Okay, yeah. I understand. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So I guess I guess you could do that. I guess there's some elimination in, in some some of this as well, I would imagine, in, in the whole... The whole yes, uh, and that's during the audition process. Okay, yeah. okay, I understand, I understand. So, um, just tell us one more time about the event. Um, you know, the A to Z, zero to nine, uh, yes. uh, starting tomorrow. Yes, so tomorrow, uh, between the hours of 11 and 4 p.m. at JG Management Studios, which is located above Jane's Bridal and Gift. And then on Sunday in St. Thomas at the Windward Passage Hotel, between the hours of 12 and 4 p.m. We are looking for models with or without experience. Just please come out. We just, if you have the passion for it, definitely come out. We want to see you. And we have uh, different ages, six divisions. We have, uh, we're looking for a child, female and male, between the hour, ages of eight and 11 years old, junior female, 12 to 15, junior male, 12 to 16, and our fashion female division, seven, 16 to 22, five, eight and taller. And our male fashion, 17 to 25, six okay. feet or taller. And also we would like all the females to wear a white uh, tank top with black leggings and heels. And our guys, white t-shirt, black jeans and black shoes. Okay, okay. So, Ms. Bass, you're excited? Oh, you're I am so excited. I am so excited. And also, the island is, this island is just, it's paradise. The people, the beauty, um, I, I feel so at home here. Okay. And the warmth is just uh, like no place I've ever been. And I've been to many places. So, I'm really looking forward to meeting new models, guys and girls, teens and juniors and kids so please come out and let us just take a look at you I mean it's it's a fun industry and it's all about being yourself and and really enjoying it okay okay um, so I guess part of this whole process too is is, is the photo shoots so is there any, is there any of them gonna have this uh, have that afforded to them to get like a or should they have uh, their, their album with them already well no, you don't have to have a portfolio okay. to attend the audition, but oh. once you're in the competition, then they'll start that process. It's part of the uh, package. Okay. We will do a photo shoot uh, to get you started okay. because fashion print is part of the uh, competition. Oh, really? So okay. Your images will be shown on the screen. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Yes. Uh, and then I guess. Uh, that that's sort of a keepsake because then you know if you make it big that's so this is what I started with you know yeah. <laughs> okay uh, you guys okay yeah okay all right so um, did you want to talk about your other other event oh sure yeah okay yeah we can surely do that and sure. I know that's coming up here in another couple of weeks yes. Uh, so the other event, Jason, is the, uh, what is it, the uh, Style St. Croix? St. Croix, Croix Style, the charity gala. That's it right there? Yes, oh. it's our first annual. Okay. And uh, it's going to benefit our nonprofit, which is the JG Center of Excellence. Okay. And it's going to be at Hotel on the Key. Okay. December 5th. Between, we start at 6 p.m. until midnight. Okay. And the night consists of red carpet arrivals with uh, interviews, mix and mingle, live entertainment, uh, art, uh, open bar, complimentary hors d'oeuvres, uh, fashion show, okay. dinner, okay. And dancing. Any, any, any surprise uh, models coming in? Coming well, in? aside from my um, fashion models, we have um, some 
uh, people in the community okay. who will be uh, modeling as well. So we're very excited for okay. that. We have uh, Cindy Ivo Frontal, uh, Judith uh, Juicy Figueroa. We okay. have um, Austin Cornelius. We have. Oh my God! Oh, Ramon Reed. Okay. We have, we have yeah, it's quite a few. Okay. It's, it's going to be great. They're so excited. Okay. For for this. So and, so uh, we're gonna hear this kind of music. Uh, you can't hear it, but you heard it before we started. You're gonna definitely. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. And I also will be celebrating being in the industry for 25 years. Oh really? Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's gonna be a fun yeah. night. There's um, fashionable attire. All inclusive, including the ferry ride as well. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sounds like fun, man. Yes. Sounds like fun. Oh, you can get tickets. Yeah, I was going to say. I was just going to say. What about studio, tickets? JG Management, also Urban Threads in Sunny Isles, and Sparkle Couture in Christian Bay. Okay, okay. Miss Miss Bass, you going to be here for that? You know what? I was just thinking. I want to come. <laughs> This is two weeks out. <laughs> this is two weeks out. It's going to so. be great. It, it really is. I know. Wow, that's wonderful, Jason. I love it. Yeah. So, um, Ms. Bass, so let's talk a little bit about, um, you, you mentioned someone there uh, in the conversation earlier that, uh, I forget the name, uh, was it uh, Kate? Uh, oh, Kate Moss? Kate Moss. So yes. She's, she's a big time model, right? Well, she's been one for uh, 30 plus years. Yes, yeah, she's British. Okay. And she's 5'7". And um, she was uh, scouted by um, a, an English woman uh, from Storm Models, and she caught on. And this is an interesting story too. How Kate Moss became famous was a photographer, and the photographer saw her and loved her, and that was it. Okay. And this is how this industry is, and that's why I say you can have a stroke of luck and meet someone. Mine was Givenchy. He found me and he took me to Paris. So then everybody else starts to come. Okay. This is how it is. They're almost like they are followers, okay. so to speak. <laughs> so if someone is, is like, oh, really? Oh, well, I want her too. And then they come. Yes. So yes, Kate Moss has been, she is an exception because she is 5'7". Um, and you know, the funny thing is, is uh, I think she looks taller, you know, when you see her kind of... Uh, well, that's because the, the way they shoot her. Yes, That's okay. the way they shoot Which her. Which is actually 5'7". Exactly. Okay. And, and there is one other thing that I'd like to talk about, and that is diversity in this industry. Um, this word has been thrown around, thrown around, diversity, diversity, diversity. Well, it's about time. And that's why I'm so passionate about, about these beautiful um, island beauties here is because the world is not just black and white. Nothing is just black and white. We have to see all people because all people wear clothes. Why would we just only advertise the, the, the black or the white or one more than the other? Okay. So it's about representing the world. And that's why I love Bob Marley so much. What does he say? We are one, w one with the world. And this is how fashion should be. And this is why I have such passion for bringing these beauties to the forefront. Okay. So, so. when you're traveling here, there, and everywhere, you know, you're, you're seeing faces. So do you, do you think oh, that, that guy's handsome or that lady is beautiful? All the time. Okay. All the time. I'm always, and you know, I have a daughter and I have three grandbabies. And my daughter has l grown up with me. Uh, scouting and looking and saying, oh my goodness, she's there. And she says, Mom, will you, what, what? And I'm always looking, but I can't help it. Yes. You know, this is what I do. I am a scout. I look at, I see a face and I see that it, whether it's going to work or not. Okay. But and in an instant, I can just look mm -hmm. and that, and I can tell. Okay. So yes, that's what I do. So, so you, and then approach them and say, here, here's a card and... Well, you know, I, I do sometimes, and a lot of times I feel I don't want to change anyone's destiny. Maybe this isn't something they want. I, I, sometimes I kind of skirt around a little bit. Okay. Um, because I don't want to pull in someone that doesn't love this. You have to love this. Okay. And I don't want to try to, I would never try to change anyone's mind and say, oh, you must, you must be a model. You have to be. Because it's hard. Okay. You have to want it 24-7. Okay. So well, I'm cautious. Yes. So if I can ask you to do some name dropping here, who, who else have you had an opportunity to meet or deal with um, uh, that's sort of famous in a sense? I have had an opportunity, uh, Charlize Theron, 
Um, I don't know if you know her, but she's a huge star. She's with, um, uh, what is her boyfriend? Um, her boyfriend is, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of his name. <laughs> Sean Penn, yes, yes, Sean okay. Penn. Okay. Um, I've worked with Naomi. Um, I've been on Tyra Banks' um, 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 Next Top Model several times. Okay, does um, that show still come on? Uh, yes, it does, oh, really? yes, okay. it does. Okay. Um, Miss J is a dear friend of mine. He wrote a book. He's on America's Next Top Model. I'm sure you guys know him. Um, and um, I have worked with uh, Janice Dickinson. I've worked with many, many models of, um, of, of the 80s, which you may not know a lot of uh, the names. And I also do charity work. And this is I might know some of the 80s else. names. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I do charity work also, which is something very dear to my heart. Okay. United Colors of Fashion. Okay. I'm the casting director, and I also work with Women in Fashion Film Fest, and I also work with um, Color Girls for Change. So I'm very, very involved in in the community, and I'm involved in the industry, and I just want to make a difference. Okay, okay. And so you were saying too that this is like your fifth or sixth time here, and so yes. you just you just love coming here. Are you excited? I do, I do. I, I, the water, the the serenity of it. It just I can just close my eyes and, and just uh, just unwind from, from, then I'm ready to get back to the city. Yes. <laughs> the okay. hustle and the bustle, hustle I love New it. New York City, yeah, yeah, okay. But I, I get my energy here, I really do, it's amazing. Okay, all right, so we're gonna take another quick break here. It's about 8.53 p.m., it's Friday, November 20th. I just wanna say that this is the It's Your Perspective talk show. Uh, we're doing a special show tonight because uh, we do have some special guests in the studio. Uh, so check, we're gonna continue on with this, uh, this runway music. So I guess this is good, uh, like Zumba, Zumba kind of stuff. But anyway, we'll be right back.
Yeah. All right, all right, we're back. This is the HL Perspective Talk Show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, we're doing a special show tonight, uh, Friday, November 20th, 2015. My name is David, a.k.a. Kimba, a.k.a. Christian. Uh, go to our website, streaming live from the vi.com to see uh, the rest of this show and all our shows. Uh, we do have a telephone number, 340-201-9005. Uh, give us a call because uh, we do have some special guests in the studio. There they are. Wait for the car, you guys. You're streaming out Hi. right now. They're seeing you one more time. So uh, you guys doing good? Yes. Doing good, okay. Very good. Um, so I wanted to ask you, Jason, um, as you as you as you see um, some of these guys in the early stages, who 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 has reached on, and made leaps and bounds into the industry, that that's from here. In terms of guys, uh, that's that's what we're working on. Yeah, that's what we're really <laughs> okay. working on right now. Yes. Okay. We're really hoping, especially our uh, current winner. Uh, Jamal Cookshank, we we see really great things happening for him. Okay. He's um, in New York right now working with uh, Red Models. Okay. And, um, you know, just building up his book right now and getting ready to for a uh, fashion week in January. So, oh, really? Okay. So we're very excited to see his progress and the level that he reaches. All right, so is he allowed to like hit the runway with the, the high flag? <laughs> <laughs> no. He's not allowed to do that, right? Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and so what about uh, ladies? Anybody that's sort of uh, moving on through the, through the ranks is doing, doing well, I guess? Well, definitely in terms of, um, there's a young lady from St. Thomas. Okay. Uh, Hannah Davis. Okay. She is with uh, IMG Models, the top uh, modeling agency in the world. Oh, really? Okay. And um, she started doing uh, Victoria's Secrets, Sports Illustrated. She was re the recent uh, uh, sp uh, cover of the Sports Illustrated uh, oh, really? okay. magazine. Okay. Yeah, and she's also um, engaged to uh, Derek Jeter. Oh, okay, okay, so that's who that, okay. Yes, okay, I've seen the post recently about him yes, getting gay, okay. Yeah. So that's who that is. Yes, she's from St. Thomas. Oh, really? Okay, I didn't yes. know that. Okay, yes. I didn't yes. know that. Okay, okay, I've seen the yes. pictures uh, of him yes. and just, I guess, recently getting engaged there. Yes. Um, so, um, anything that you want to add or share, uh, both of you? Uh, Jason wants to share about Jason. Well, I want Jason to share about how he started modeling here in the VA. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I started, uh, I was in a competition of my alma mater, St. Croix Central High School. Woo -woo. <laughs> yes, and um, I was a junior that year, competing in the Mr. CHS uh, Macho competition. Okay. And um, after the competition, Cindy Ivo Frontal of Cindy's Models came up to me and asked me if I wanted to join her agency and I said sure and uh, you know I did everything I possibly could do when it comes to modeling in the VI. I did a lot of the commercial uh, advertisements, uh, print ads, we travel extensively throughout the Caribbean and then I told her, you know, I really want to go to New York and pursue modeling. So mm -hmm. I left in 95. So you actually told her that? Yes. I mean, that's how really that, you just said, hey, I want to get out of here and, and just sort of push on? Yes. Okay. Because modeling completely just took over my life. I did not want to do anything else but model. Okay. Okay. So I, I left and I went to New York in 95. and. I, I, I did the hustling, you know, trying to knock on a lot of agency doors and and I mostly freelanced with a lot of different agencies, but I did a lot of runway shows. That was, you know, my specialty. Okay. I was known for, you know, the runway and that's what I absolutely loved. Okay. And then I got an opportunity to attend a convention in 99, which is the IMTA, the International Modeling right. and Talent Association. Okay. And I competed there, and then I met uh, one of the directors for Tomorrow Talent and Model Management. Okay. And, um, you know, we talked about all that I do, and they were very impressed with me, and, um, and then I started working for them for about five years, training and developing 
like over 100 uh, contestants twice a year. But, so but how did you get into that training? I mean, you, so you were modeling and, and then now you're training? I mean, right, I, because I always had a love for developing as well. Like back okay. home, starting from back home, I used to do help the girls with their pageants okay. and put on, um, you know, different uh, talent shows. Okay. So I was always into that. But when I got to New York and I really understand the, the training aspect Okay. I really, really got hooked on it, and it just, I, I noticed that, you know, everything started, I started shifting, going uh, more behind the scenes. Okay. So I just started um, training and developing kids, teens, uh, and adults for the same competition, IMTA, that I went to. Okay, perfect. And, um, yeah, so it was, it was absolutely wonderful. I learned a lot. Okay. Working with them, we traveled to New York and Los Angeles every year to okay. compete. And then 2003, I, st I, I was like, okay, I think it's time I, I branch out on my own. Mm -hmm. And I started uh, Uptown Model Management with a, a friend of mine mm -hmm. that originally was from St. Croix as well. But you, you were doing this in New York? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And then we had that agency for about four years, and then I I started uh, JG Management uh, US um, New York. So I did the I had my own agency in New York for about six years. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, and it was great. And then. But life, life, how, life how, how did you how, how did you talk about a little bit of how you guys met? I mean. Well, we met at the IMTA. Yes. <laughs> at the um, IMTA I, we've yeah. known each other, what, Jason, 20? Yeah, about 20 years. Okay. About, about 20 yeah. years, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. always just... So what, what, what were you guys doing 20 years ago when you met? The same thing. I mean, we were at IMTA. I was a scout. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is IMTA? That's some kind of... International uh, Model and Talent Association. Okay. It's a huge convention where models come from all over the U.S. Okay. And Paris, Europe, and Asia. And um, it's a convention. Okay. So they invite agents like myself, like Jason, to come and look at new talent. Okay. And it still goes on. I still go, go there today. Oh, really? There's okay. one in January. I give seminars there. They have two a year, okay. July and January. And this is where Jason and I met. And he was always so elegant and always so um, uh, calm. And, and we just kind of would say hello. And then we wouldn't see each other the, until the next convention. And... We always clicked, though. Okay. It was always something yeah. okay. that was nice about his vibe. Okay. And I always would tell people that um, what I learned, especially for being in the industry, to be to meet someone like uh, like Sandy, and there was another lady, uh, Karen Lee, yes. and I would tell people all the time that you know these two women really me coming from a small island and then coming to new york you know they never made me feel like i did not belong you know they were always yes. very very welcoming to me yes. and very respectful and would always look at my uh, my models that we would have from tomorrow talent give us great advice and so I always, always appreciated uh, Sandy for yeah. that. But did you know? Did you did you know of the Virgin Islands when you met him? Oh yes, of course okay. I knew of the Virgin Islands, but I had never been to the Caribbean. At that I time, I had never been to okay. the Caribbean, and the very first time Jason invited me, it was for. You know, in 2011, when I had, uh, I moved back in 2010. Okay. Right. And then I started uh, JG Management USVI in 2011. Okay. And then okay. in the summer, I did a, a small convention. Okay. And yes. I brought Sandy down. Oh, yes, right. okay. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And he found out that I was a true island girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I fit right, right in. Yes. You hooked ever since, right? Wow. Oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really, really happy to work with Jason because we have the same vision. You know, it's sometimes you put in position with people that you just click. Mm. I mean, if, if all marriages work like this, it would be great. Yes, okay. <laughs> because we have such a good relationship. We understand and respect each other. And we have the same vision for these kids. And that's what has really brought us together. Okay. Um, um, you know, with his knowledge and with my knowledge, we really make a good team. Okay. We really do. So our mission is 
to take these island beauties as far as we can. Okay. And as many as we can. And we're really, we're just getting started. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. One of the things that I think was great about what we do with VI uh, Model of the Year, the prizes. Aside from, I mean, for a young model here in the Caribbean who just getting started, mm -hmm. to be signed with a top agency, that is like, Unheard of. Oh, really? you know, okay. Amazing. Okay. And they and also a photo shoot yes, in New York. they also get a trip to New York. All six winners. Okay. A trip to New York, airfare, hotel, a photo shoot with top New York City photographer. Okay. A Broadway show. I mean. Oh, New York is so much yes. fun. They just love it every it's, July. Yes. Oh, really? every okay. July. So the the yes. the, comp the competition is in April. July, everybody goes to New York City. Oh, really? Okay. Oh my God, it's so much fun. Yes. Yeah, I can the, only the imagine. The parents too. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I can only imagine the excitement that uh, that these fashion shows and just getting in the industry is like the big break. Yes. yes. Uh, for a lot of them, you know. Uh, so, Ms. Bass, do you have anything that you uh, anything that you wanted to share? Um, well, maybe... um, aside from loving this island and loving the people, um, I'm just lo we're just looking for beauties, um, and and I want to thank the island for the island people for um, being warm to me. I, I'm staying at an amazing hotel and the people are just uh, my kind of people because I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. Even okay. though I've lived all over the world, Paris, Rome, and Tokyo, and I've traveled to, I, I, need, I, I can't even name the different countries and cities that I've been, but certain things just kind of stick out. And this is one of the, the places that really is dear to my heart and I am honored to be here and I want to thank the Virgin Island people for welcoming me, welcoming me so greatly. Thank you very much. Okay. And thank you, David. Thank you, and thank you for coming on. Thank Jason for coming on again, and thank you thank for being Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you. Um, but real quick, um, don't go yet. Don't go yet. I need you to sort of run through uh, events starting tomorrow yes. one more time. Yes. yes. Everybody, the, uh, as I like to say, A to Z, zero to nine. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so we start our third annual VI Model of the Year auditions tomorrow, Saturday, at our studio, JG Management, which is located above Jane's Bridals, and that is between the hours of 11 and 4 p.m. Then on Sunday in St. Thomas at the Windward Passage Hotel, between the hours of 12 and 4 p.m. We have six divisions. We're looking for all ethnicities, females and males, starting from child, junior, to young adult, between the ages of 8 and 25 years old. And you can also contact me at 340-244. Yeah, yeah, don't forget you, you, both of your social media yes. stuff. Okay, 340-244-5544, or you can email info at jgmanagementusvi.com, and you can also like us on Facebook, JG Management USVI, as well as Instagram. And, and we'll mine is pretty much the same because we are connected. Okay. Okay. Um, and then you want to mention your other event coming up in December? Yes. Okay. So the, uh, our first gala, Sencor Style Charity Gala, at Hotel on the Key, December fifth. All inclusive is going to be an amazing night the most fashionable event of the holiday season. We are so excited. And you can get your tickets at JG Management, Urban Threads, and Sparkle Couture in Christianstead. Okay, uh, that's December 5th coming up here. So yes. plan accordingly, Get your get, uh, for you guys that are away worldwide, um, just get your tickets and be here for the 5th of December. It's a big event. And so I wanna thank you guys for coming in tonight. And hanging out with Thank me here you. in the Thank tech, low tech studio. Thank you. Um, our guests tonight, uh, Jason Gardner and Sandra Bass, there they are one more time. I just want to say real quick that this is the ATO Perspective Talk Show every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, some Friday, some Saturday, even some Sundays, and even some Mondays. Uh, next week is uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, we are doing a run show, I think, either on Tuesday or Wednesday, and I think we're going to do a giveaway. We're actually going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, so you, you, you'll get all the details for that uh, next week. Uh, i got to figure that out this weekend. Uh, but we are having a giveaway for Thanksgiving to uh, show appreciation to our, our viewers and most importantly our guests for tuning in and believing in 
what we're trying to do here because we're always streaming live from the vi.com. All right, thank you, and we're out. Have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, on uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. We're back on the air. Thank you. Thank Peace. you.